Hello and welcome to 98 Earl's Gate Road, Beaver Creek, Ohio. Here I'm sitting on the driveway walking up to the front of the home. First thing I want to point out to you, this is a full brick home on the first floor here for the most part. Three car garage and this is a huge oversized three car garage. This walkway will lead all the way to our back deck into our backyard. And again, we can see here that's full brick, great landscaping, very inviting as you walk up to the front door. Lots of nice updates on the inside, and really this is a turnkey ready, move right into home. Now, we're here at the front door, but before we go on the inside, I actually want to show you the backyard. Then after I show you the backyard, I'll meet you here and we'll go inside. So I'm gonna meet you out back. All right, so here I just came out the back door to look at the backyard here. Good sized deck, built in bench seats here. Deck is in fantastic shape, doesn't even look like it needs any maintenance at all right now. A couple different entertaining areas. We have a fire pit over here. The swing set, two-story swing set does stay. Basement does walk out. We'll check that out here momentarily. Nice mature trees here. Yard is partially fenced in. And this storage shed is new. That was just added. And the driveway extends past, you know, it's the side attached garage, but it extends past and this walkway comes all the way up to the deck, so you do not have to walk into the grass to get inside. Perfect spot for a garden over here. Another spot for a garden over there. Just a great tranquil setting back here. Now, let's go check out the inside of this house because I am excited to show it to you. I'll meet you inside. Or we're gonna go to the front door and come in through the front door. I'll meet you inside. All right, so here just walk through the front door and this is a nice updated front door with two side lights on it. We open up to hardwood floors immediately upon entering. To your right, we have French doors that lead to the dining room. And this is a massive dining room. Imagine having you know, your Thanksgiving or your holiday dinner here, have a family over, plenty of room to spare, chair rail, uh, solid wood trim, wood floors, crown molding. This is just a great, great dining room, huge. And then a bow window here as well. And then the entry, much bigger than what it looks from where I was standing before as well. Coat closet here, half bathroom here, we'll check that out. Can go up to three of the bedrooms. There's two more bedrooms and a family room, rec room downstairs. First floor family room, gas fireplace here. And this is a sunken family room, so very, very nice. Vaulted ceilings in the family room. This is a great room just to curl up with the book in the winter time with the fireplace and just veg out. And we'll check these out here momentarily. We're gonna finish out everything on the first floor. Our half bathroom, the wood floors flow into the half bathroom. I just really, I'm a construction guy, so I just love all of the real wood trim that goes all throughout here. And then French doors from this side as well that open into our massive dining room. This door here takes us out to the garage. And actually, since I'm talking about it, we're gonna check out the garage while we're here because it is a massive three-car garage. Can park three cars in here. Obviously, plenty of room for storage. And then look how deep this is. And your bumper would come up to here and then all of this. And all of this shelving system that you see in here stays. And this shelving system is heavy duty. Cost a couple thousand dollars put in here, all of it stays, and there's even a closet over here, so you can put winter coats or whatever, but a double door closet over here in this three car garage as well. Now coming back into the house, wait until you see this kitchen. It is phenomenal. Granite countertops in here. All of the kitchen appliances stay. Whirlpool fridge here stays, the microwave stays, dishwasher, cooktop, and the double wall oven stays. Tons of cabinet space here. We still have a pantry cabinet or a closet in here as well. Just a massive amount of cabinet space. Double, these are double base cabinets. You have base cabinets on this side, of course that's the dishwasher, but more cabinets on this side and just a huge prep area. That is a big slab of granite right there. And then this looks in through to the living room. The breakfast room here, 
I mean, this breakfast room table is the size of a lot of dining room tables. A little recess area here in the kitchen, so a little study area for the kiddos. But again, we have five bedrooms, so if you don't have that many kids, you can make one of those an office for sure. But just a very nice open feel. And then coming into the living room, just huge, ginormous vaulted ceilings in here. Tons of windows, and these are all double pane glass windows. We've seen the outside already, so I'll digress on that. Just a massive, massive living room here. Again, gas fireplace in here, and opens right into the kitchen and dining room. Next, let's go check out the second floor. I'll meet you upstairs. All right, so here we just came up to the second floor. First room to our left, we're gonna call bedroom number one. Now, one thing to point out, these are all solid wood doors, real wood trim on the casing and the baseboard here. So very, very nice and it matches the wood windows as well. Kids bedroom, and this is a good size bedroom here. Double sliding door here, and those are also solid wood doors. Then coming down this way, we have our first bathroom, which is our guest bathroom. We have updated flooring in here. Looks like the vanity has been updated as well. Looks like a solid surface top. And this is a one piece shower tub here. This thing looks like it's never even been used. Super duper clean. Linen, linen closet right here. Wood door there as well. And a little surprise around the corner, we also have a walk-in shower. So you actually have a shower, a walk-in shower and a shower tub in here. And then the commode around the corner. So very, very nice guest bathroom. That's gonna be the owner suite. We'll look at that here in a second. Bedroom number two, this is on the back right of the home. So this window would overlook the backyard. Really another good sized room here. Could put a queen bed in here. Honestly, you could probably put a king bed in here and have plenty of room. And a double sliding closet on here also. Then the owner suite, massive bedroom. King size bed with plenty of room. Plenty of room for more furniture. I mean, you could accommodate just about any furniture arrangement. You can see the kids play out on the swing set or friends sitting around the fire pit. You can see our mature trees. A lot of shade in here too, so it doesn't get overly hot. And wait till you see this bathroom. It is awesome. Look at this. Double vanity, solid surface top, tons of space in here, jetted tub, this all looks like a marble type flooring, walk-in shower, walk-in closet, very, very good sized closet here. And your commode has its own separate area with the door on there. Even has a little bench in the shower right here. Just a gorgeous, gorgeous bathroom. So that's our second floor. We've seen three bedrooms, two baths. Next, let's go down and check out the lower level. I'll meet you downstairs. All right, so here we just came down to the lower level. Immediately to our left, we have just storage underneath the stairs here, which is a pretty good sized storage space. A bedroom over here, our family room, fifth bedroom over here, and our utility room. We're gonna take a look at the utility room since we're right here. Good size utility room slash mechanical room. This is where our softener, our water heater, and our furnace is, and that's a Linux furnace, very nice furnace. And check out this washer and dryer. This is a Kenmore Elite Series washer and dryer. Very, very nice. This stays with the property. Bedroom number four. I might have these bedrooms, you know, size different, but you get the point. Double sliding closet in here as well. Solid wood. Upstairs, downstairs, first floor, everything. Very, very elegantly done. Family room slash rec room, good sized room. Obviously this is a walkout basement. So very, very convenient here. And I'll give you some more views of this here in a minute. Here's the, another full bathroom. This is a one piece shower tub. Looks like it's been updated. Solid surface top on here as well. And it has its own linen closet as well. And bedroom number five, big room here. I think that's a queen, it might be, I think it's a queen. Queen size bed, plenty of room to spare. Double sliding closet here as well. 
perfect spot down here to put a pool table, ping pong table, could throw a bar in here, all kinds of possibilities and options down here. A lot of, a lot of space for entertaining and a lot of space for the family. Next, I'll meet you upstairs for a few closing statements. So thanks for watching our video. If you have any questions about this home or if you'd like to see it in person, feel free to give me a call. I'd be happy to show you this house or I'm sure your realtor would be happy to show you this house as well. This neighborhood, the houses sell really, really quick in this neighborhood. This is a very sought after neighborhood. We're located just minutes from Wright-Patterson Air Force Base, Wright State University, State Route 35, 675, the green, just a great location, quiet neighborhood, and it's just waiting for you to call a home. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to talking to you.